Alright everybody, how's everybody doing? Kind of waited quite a while to try to break this stuff. Uh, we're going to start moving forward with, um, with getting the packs filled up uh, as quickly as possible. This is the very first pack being broke out of the box. As you can see, this is 1976 Topps Original Wax Box. This is sealed and authenticated by Baseball Card Exchange. This is the, uh, the top shelf leader in unopened product authenticating and grading. This company actually does the authenticating for PSA for their individual packs. Um, that's why I did not get these uh, graded individually because uh, the price would have skyrocketed even higher than they already are. So my initial plans was to try to sell all 36 packs before we did the break so that we can do them all in one video, but then unfortunately that's not going to happen. So hopefully I have a good enough reputation uh, as being an honest breaker uh, that you know that th this product will not be tampered with by in any way. So um, again, guys, this is pack number one. Uh, I'd like to thank our participants, Randy Dillon, Stephen Bolligak, Joel White, James Wood, Kyle McKinturf, Cody Weller, Daryl Chrysler, and Don Bridges Jr., uh, there's a couple. I've sent out several emails to uh, people that aren't in the group that made these purchases through other sites and uh, through postings that I've done. So uh, what I'll have to do is just send them a link to the video. Um, we are broadcasting simultaneously on YouTube as well, so there will be a record of the break on there. Um, the way this break actually works... Um, the way this actually works is it's basically like a current break, which is a random hit break. Um, so everybody in the break gets one card. There's 10 cards per pack. And when we open the pack, uh, it'll be the top side will be card number one. The, the bottom of the pack where it's actually sealed, that's the bottom of the pack. That'll be card 10. All right. Um, we will offer grading. Uh, grading's not included in this particular pack. We do have uh, packs that are sold with grading included. If you decide you don't want your card graded, you can get a refund of your grading fee. Uh, that's not a problem. Uh, we have three spots left in pack number four. Pack number four is exactly like this. It's $22 a spot. Um, there's no grading included on that. So uh, if we fill that, we can break that tonight as well. Uh, packs 2 and 3 are grading included. Those are $42 a spot. And then there's uh, a bunch of random teams. There was only 24 teams in the league in 1976. So there's 24 spots, and those are $9.50 a piece. So that'll be a, a random team break, 10 cards per pack. So not much different than uh, what we... Not much different than what we do nowadays with new product. Uh, the hits are the chases for the star cards and the grading in PSA 10. So uh, PSA 10 Dennis Eckersley rookies have been selling for uh, over $7,000, upwards of $9,000. Uh, there's I saw Willie Stargell sell for, I think, uh, $7,000, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, these are pack fresh. Uh, the person that I purchased these from before he sent them to Baseball Card Exchange to be authenticated said the packs were in pristine condition. So without further ado, my friends, let's bust this open and see for ourselves. Uh, what I'd like to do first is random the names so everybody knows what number they have to begin with. So we'll roll the dice and we'll get ready to random those names. Good luck to everybody. This is very exciting. This is the most watchers we've had in any break. We're up to 53 watchers, so that's pretty in, uh, incredible. 
So I uh, appreciate it from everybody, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get you guys to jump into some of our other breaks and uh, keep this group moving forward. So 11 times. 11 times we're going to random the names. All right, so here is our 10 names. They are in exact order that uh, they were purchased from top to bottom. And what we'll do is we'll random this list 11 times from the dice roll, and there'll be a number next to your name, and that number will be the card that you get in the pack. All right? Uh, so that's how that works. Card or Spot 1 gets card 1. Spot 5 gets card 5. So here we go. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Give me one second to get this printed. All right, guys, I'll read these off in one second, and we'll get this busted open. So we were over 60 watchers at one time. That's phenomenal. So everybody's really intrigued in the break. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it's taking so long to fill some of the other... Uh, some of the other breaks. Keep in mind, guys, these boxes sell for anywhere from $5,000 to $8,000 sealed. Um, graded packs sell anywhere from $150 to $220 a piece. So that's where the, uh, the price comes in to play. Uh, everybody's intrigued of getting a pack fresh card uh, that's 42 years old straight from the pack. All right, so we're going to do something after the box is done. We're going to do something special with the wrappers and uh, maybe also with the gum uh, or something. So uh, keep your eyes open for that. I'm going to keep everything nice and sealed. Hopefully the gum is not so brittle that it's cracked up in the packs, uh, which is quite common. All right, so here we go, guys. Let me do something here really quick. Let me save this so that I could post it. Just bear with me, guys. This is a unique break. First time I'm doing anything like this. So uh, we're just trying to get everything situated pack one draw that's what we'll call that all right give me a second let me uh jump on wow we're up to 65 watchers this is incredible so i thank you very much there is a couple spots left um keep your eyes open on the website there's several listed i'd like to start getting these filled and moved forward um just give me one second I just want to post this here. Pack four. Pack four. Just looking for the pack one listing, which has it's been full for a couple days, so it got knocked down the list here. There it is. All right. I just want to post the uh, post the draw so that it's on the main page. All right, so we're good to go. All right, so here is our draw. It is posted on the main page in the breaks, uh, KIR.com. We've got the card number one, Stephen Bolagak. Card number two, Kyle McKinturf. Card number three, Cody Weller. Card number four, Daryl Chrysler. Card number five, Randy Dillon. Card number six, Cody Weller. Card number seven, Joel White. 
Card number eight, Daryl Chrysler. Card number nine, James Wood. And card number 10, Don Bridges Jr. All right, so there is the list. There's a little bit of a glare, so that's why I don't have it up here with the way my lighting is. But that's our list right there, and we have it posted in the main page. So um, as in the uh, description where you made your purchase, the way the box runs is these are different shaped than what uh, wax boxes ended up being um, later on. They started making them more square so that they took up less shelf space instead of being so much front uh, frontage. So there's four stacks of nine, like there always is. Furthest to the left is going to be the first pack on the top. So one through nine is one through nine. Then 10 uh, through 18, 19 through 27, and 28 through 36 on the right side. All right, so that's the way this is going to go. And here we go, guys. It's time to bust the seal. 1976 Tops vintage wax box and I'm gonna bust this get one more picture at the sticker so that we have record of this you can see everything is sealed shrink wrapped exactly like it came from Steve Hart so uh, let's go ahead I don't want to score the box at all like we do on the new stuff everything about this is uh, collectible so as always my garbage can was not where it was supposed to be Uh, bear with me, guys. This is shrink-wrapped pretty tight. Alright, here it goes. I was kind of hoping that sticker didn't rip. All right, I'll keep a hold of this sticker. All right, here we go. Let's see what these look like. Wow, they're in very, very good shape. This is uh, this is what's considered a common box. It's got the 15 cent uh, tab on it. These originally sold for 10 cents. Uh, there's rare, more rare boxes that have the 10 cent tab on it so all right here we go you can see up in the top corner uh, camera I don't want to tip these and have any roll out so the top left pack will be pack number one and that is the pack that we are breaking and here we go very very cool all right, so this pack or this box will be set on the side and will be in the exact same uh, rotation the whole time. So if we fill pack four first, we will take pack two and three out of the uh, stack before we break them. No, Dustin, you're not in this one. This is a 1976. We're up to 82 watchers. This is awesome. So. Uh, thanks again, guys, uh, for uh, tuning in. Hopefully this is exciting for everybody. Uh, there's plenty of breaks here for the 76 tops uh, available. As low as $9.50 a spot for Pick Your Teams. So the chase is for Gem Mint 10 cards here. So here we go, guys. Without any more anticipation, it's time. So that's the top of the pack. That's the back of the pack. Nice good seal still on it. There's actually some remnants of the gum. All right, here we go. So uh, just to be clear, 
Card number one is on the very top, next to the gum. Here we go. There's our wrapper. Flip the cards. The gum is intact. There's our gum. All right, card number one. This one goes to Stephen Balagak. Off center, there's a little uh, roughness at the bottom. Looks like a factory wrap issue. Little gum stain. Champ Summers for the Chicago Cubs. That goes to Steven Bolagak. So thanks for uh, participating, Steven. So that means our pack one, card one. That goes to Steven. All right, next up, card number two. This is Kyle McKinturf. Very nice. Razor sharp corners. Slightly off center. This is Daryl Knowles for the Cubs as well. Off center slightly on the back. That's why the value of 10s are so great. Card number 617, Daryl Knowles for Kyle McKinturf. We are approaching 100 viewers. Thanks so much to everybody. Daryl Knowles. That goes to Kyle McKinturf. Pack one, card two. All right, next up is a good one. Old school checklists are very sought after. Unmarked. This one's really sharp, but slightly off center, and it's got a little bit of rough cut. So very cool rough cut on the bottom. So this is a checklist for the traded. Very cool. That goes to Cody Weller. So Cody Weller with the checklist. Card number three. Nice card there. Again, guys, if anybody wants to get involved, we do have plenty of spots available. For the 76 packs, they're available on the website. You can find them right here.
Uh, yeah, beefy. I mean, we could do whatever. We could submit whatever we, uh, whatever you want. That's not a problem. Two grade or two day grading is only one, one card, uh, submission anyway. As of right now, we're doing the twenty day. All right. So next up is Daryl Chrysler. Card number four, Daryl Chrysler. All right, Greg Luzinski, the Bull, for the Philadelphia Phillies. Razor sharp corners. Little print mark up top. You can kind of see in the glare. Slightly off center. Same on the back. Very cool. That goes to number four, Daryl Chrysler. Yeah, Dustin, you can sign up for anything you want. All you got to do is buy your spots on the website. Just scan up a little bit and uh, go up and Click that link. Daryl Chrysler. All right, next up, Randy Dillon. So Randy Dillon with card number five. Oh, we've got an issue, guys. We got an issue. There isn't 10 cards in this first. There isn't 10 cards in this first pack. Seven cards in this first pack. So we'll have to do something to... Uh, to make that up to Daryl Chrysler, James Wood, and Don Bridges. Um, wow, all the research I did said 10 cards per pack. Interesting. All right, guys. Well, um, the other guys, the, the last three guys that don't have cards here... Uh, I will add you into the uh, the next break, and we will get that uh, we'll get something broke for you tonight for sure. All right, so you will be included. Just uh, just hang loose. I'll take care of that as soon as possible. Uh, just got to make sure there's not separate types of packs here, or if it was uh, just a tops mistake. Oh, okay, Beefy, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't even know. Um, no, there's none stuck together, Greg Terry. I didn't even put two and two together. Uh, you're Don Bridges. Excellent. So you're here watching. Uh, I will do that uh, immediately. As a matter of fact, hold on for one second. Let me double check uh, the website. All right, looks like I've got a... I've got some payments that have come in, so I'm going to need to do some some fiddling here and figure out what's going on and how we're going to do this if they're not going to have the right amount of cards in it. So, all right, guys, let me finish up here uh, for the, the first seven guys, and then uh, we'll figure that out. All right, so this is card number five. Card number five for the Atlanta Braves. This goes to Randy Dillon. Randy Dillon. So if that's the case, we're going to end up having to do random teams on all these packs. If there's no guarantee that the cards are going to be right. This card's in really good shape as well. Razor sharp corners. Centering's a little better than some of the others, but still slightly off. Uh, nice all-star card for the Braves. That goes to, again, Randy Dillon. Nice on the back. No stains.
Interesting, Matt. I don't know where I saw 10 cards. I wonder if I was looking at maybe a cello pack or a supermarket pack or something. I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to figure that out. I think actually when I made the purchase of the box, we were we were talking about it and we came to the conclusion it was 10 cards. So I'll make those uh, adjustments accordingly. So Jim Wynn, that is card number five. Yeah, I've also seen packs where the front of the uh, the pack this says 1976. I wonder if that's more of a or if that's a 10 card pack. Either way, we'll make sure it's right. We'll we'll just uh, add them into the next pack. So that is card five for Randy Dillon. Card number six goes to Cody Weller. This one's nice. But, man, they're tough on centering back then. They didn't have laser cutters back then. Another all-star, Jerry Royce for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Card number six goes to Cody Weller. Oh, that makes sense now, Bob Wilkinson. That makes sense why in the box, or on the, uh, on the seal, it says 36 10-cent wax packs in a 15-cent box. So that definitely makes sense. Good thing we didn't sell all these packs first. All right, so Jerry Royce is card number six, Cody Weller. I was three years old in 76, so I don't remember opening these. I'm sure I chewed on a couple. All right, and the last card of pack number one goes to Joel White, Jay Johnstone for the Phillies. Nice, really good corners, so these packs are in really good shape. Slightly off center, small print mark right above the H. Nice centering on the back. Nice card there for Joel White. So we had a couple sales come in uh, while we were breaking for some other uh, spots. So let me uh, let me make that up. Figure out how to uh, distribute that quick, and then uh, I'll sign right back on for the uh, last three guys for Daryl, James Wood, and uh, Beefy. We'll get uh, we'll get a pack open for you next. All right, just bear with me, and we'll uh, we'll get that handled uh, accordingly. Jay Johnstone, and that is so. That does it for pack number one. Seven cards, Bob. Thanks for your uh, for your input there. That makes total sense as to why it was labeled that way. So when we, I think when we made the purchase of the box, we looked it up as 15 cent and 10 cards. All right, thanks so much, everybody. And like I said, I'll, uh, I'll be doing some uh, special stuff with the wrappers and the gum. What I'll probably do is uh, put everybody that purchases into the breaks with the 76 packs. Uh, into uh, random drawings for packs or for uh, wrappers and the gum and such. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate all the uh, all the viewers. Uh, give me a couple of minutes to uh, figure out this issue with the seven card versus ten card, and uh, we'll move forward from there. So uh, pack four is filled. Pack four is filled. Let me see if I need to transfer extra spots over into. Uh, another pack and then uh, everything will be uh, good to go. So stay tuned. We might be breaking two more packs in the next few minutes. Thanks guys.